If you would like to grow on Instagram, but you don't want to post Instagram Reels, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create beautiful looking carousel posts using Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. For this video tutorial, I'm going to use this previous carousel post as an example to walk you through how you can create beautiful carousel posts in Canva. Now you'll notice by looking at this graphic that it's not a perfect square. It does crop perfectly to a square when it's in my feed. However, when you click to expand it, it takes up more space. I'm going to show you how to do that using the magic resize tool when you're done, but that tool is only available if you have a Canva Pro account. So if you wanna try Canva Pro free for 45 days, just click on the link in the description. Now what we're going to do is to go to the home page. Now we can either click on Instagram post here or we can select it in the top right hand corner. Once we do that, we're going to open up a square Instagram post. Now in the corner, you're going to see a search bar within the templates for Instagram. And what I want you to do is either type carousel or carousel post. That is going to pull up some carousel post templates to get you started in Canva. But I want to walk you through a very important feature. If you hover over the first image, some of them will say, you know, one of six or one of eight or however. If there are multiple slides within a design, it will move when you hover over it. So don't take the first slide for granted because there's probably more variations once you hover over that. The other thing you want to take note of is you can mix and match your designs. So say for instance, I really like this graphic for my first slide, but this doesn't come with multiple variations. So I can drop in that first design and then I can add a page and I can snag a design from this particular template. Maybe for the third one, I want something from this set. And so you can mix and match. That's what I did here for my graphics. Now, another thing that you can do when you're searching, if we go back, if we don't search carousel, we can search for a specific design. So say for instance, if you want to recreate a slider, you could type in slider and maybe one of your graphics in your carousel posts could emulate a Instagram slider. You could do um, quiz, if you type in quiz. And so you can see different graphics here that emulate a quiz. Here's a little true false graphic. So if you're looking for an element that you want to add to your design, you can search by element. Otherwise, I would encourage you to search by carousel. So the first thing I do when I'm designing my carousel posts is I decide on the aesthetic that I want for the post itself. And I really treat each different post like it's its own little magazine. As long as my brand colors are implemented in the design, it's going to work on my feed. So I don't have to worry about making it match perfectly. And to be honest with you, the variation really does elevate the look of the post. So once you have all your different slides, and I recommend maxing it out at 10 slides, then you can start to customize it for your design. So for the sake of this illustration, we're just going to throw in some random different elements here so that we can max it out. All right, now what you can do is when you click in the bottom right, you're going to see a grid view for your design. If you click on grid view, then you can click to rearrange your slides. So if you want to have a true false show up earlier, or put the slider at the end, you can play around with where these slides appear in your carousel. And when you're done rearranging things, then you can click on that grid view icon again, and it'll bring you back to this page. 
One thing you'll notice about this post is that the fonts are consistent even though I used different templates to create this single post. So the first thing you want to do is after you've dropped in all your different layouts is you want to modify your fonts. So you can see each different side, I'm utilizing the same three fonts. Right here, I have Brandon Grotesque. Here, I have Glacial Indifference. And here, I have Tan Angleton. And so you're going to see those same fonts throughout the post. Now, another thing that you can do to make your slides match each other, even if you've kind of Frankensteined it together from multiple different templates, is to make sure that your brand colors are consistent. To do that, you're going to click on Styles on the left-hand side and then you're going to select your brand kit. Now, if you have not uploaded your brand kit, that is a pro of using Canva Pro. It will save you a lot of time. So we're going to click here on this palette, and if you click, it's just going to automatically shuffle through your colors. And so that's going to allow you to save time to apply your brand colors to these designs. And you just keep clicking until you like how it looks, and then you're going to move forward. Once you've matched all of your fonts, all of your colors, then you're going to go back and add your content to your design. When you're done, you're going to rename your post. And we're going to say this is our practice carousel post. And before you download it, this is what I want you to do. You're going to click on resize. And right now it's 1080 by 1080. We're going to change it to 1080 by 1350. If you wait until after you design the post, it's going to be a lot easier for you to tell what's going to get cropped off when it crops to a square. So we're going to click on resize. And as you can see, this is where the crop line is going to be on Instagram. So, you can click and drag it and move things around and just know that this is a line where things will be cut off. And so you can kind of rearrange things. For some of your designs, it may not even matter. Nothing's going to get cut off. And so you would just go page by page and make your final adjustments before you click on download. Now, when you download this, it's going to download them in a zip file that you will need to unzip to be able to upload on Instagram. So if you click on this arrow, you're going to see none of the pages are selected now. To select all of them, just click on all pages, one to 10. And so these are all of the slides or pages for your carousel posts. All you need to do is select them all and click on download. Then it'll zip them all up you'll unzip them to upload to Instagram. What I do is I actually just send it to myself as an email. I make the photos, the attachment to the email. I write my caption in the body of the email and copy and paste. Any system works, you can upload it to a cloud-based program like Google Drive or Dropbox if that's what you desire, but the simple email works for me. So when I'm planning my content, I'll just send myself an email and say Monday post, Thursday post. However, the attachments are the images I created in the carousel posts in Instagram and the body of the email is my caption. So that's my simple way of making carousel posts. If you find this super overwhelming, the other thing that you can do to be completely honest and save yourself some time is you can go to Creative Market and you can actually search for Canva templates. You can even specifically search for Instagram templates. And there are people who have already created hundreds and hundreds of custom Canva templates that you can just put in the cart and purchase. So if you want to go beyond what Canva has available, that's another hack that will get you there. And you can click on the link in my description to hop on over to Creative Market.
Another thing that they do on this platform is they also give out free goods every single week. So you definitely want to create an account if for nothing else than for the free goods. If you have other questions about creating content for Instagram and Canva, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to create a quick tutorial for you to watch. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I will teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.